Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you've had a great week. It was so nice talking to some of my friends in Miss Wright's class this morning, along with Miss Wright. So as per your request, I'm going to upload this Mother's Day video. Today, we are going to learn how to make tissue paper flowers, just in time for Mother's Day for your special mother, aunt, grandma, whoever you may have at home. So what we're going to need for this project is, of course, tissue paper. You can pick different colors. Um, you might want to pick four different colors for this. I've used four pieces of tissue paper for this first flower that we're going to make. Pipe cleaners, tape, and glue, and of course, scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm being joined again by my daughter, Christina. Hi. Who wasn't with us last week because she had a lot of homework to get done, but she's back today. So what we're going to do first is we are going to take our tissue paper and we're going to cut it into rectangles about this size. All right. You wanna to try to get all of your pieces generally around the same size. Once you have your tissue paper cut into equal sizes, you're going to put them together. We're going to hold them this way and we're going to begin folding. So we wanna fold, we're gonna fold like a fan. So fold over, flip it, keep folding until you get to the end. So these are nice because you can pick whatever color tissue paper you want to use. You can use just one color, you can use four different colors, whichever colors you pick. Totally up to you. Or maybe you want to use your mom's favorite color. Okay, so once we have everything folded, it should look like this. We have a little fan. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to take a pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap it around the middle of the of our fan you're just going to twist the pipe cleaner to hold it in place this is going to be your stem once we have that done we're then going to round off the edges of each side with our scissors so that it looks like this. And then we're going to fan out one side at a time and we're going to separate the tissue paper and we're gonna start unfolding the tissue paper one layer at a time, folding it towards the center of your flower. one side done. Now we're going to do the same with our other side. I should have given this to you to do. That's okay. I'm going to need your help for the next one that we make. All right. And voila. There we have a nice little flower. Just kind of fluff it up a little bit. Again, this is a Multicolored one, you can pick whichever color you want to use. So there's one way. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and put that in my 
vase of flowers. Now I'm going to show you another way to make a flower. This one, we're going to use construction paper. So this one, what you're going to do first is you're going to go ahead and trace your hand, which I'm going to trace Christina's. All right, so you have your handprint on the construction paper. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut out the handprint, which I've already done ahead of time. So once the cutting is done, your hand should look like this. So what we're going to do next, and you're going to do this carefully because I don't want anybody cutting themselves. You're gonna use your scissors and you're going to fan out each finger of the handprint. Again, being careful, don't push too hard or your paper will rip. All right, so once you have your fingers all fanned out, as you can see, you're going to go ahead and you're going to roll your paper so that it looks like a flower. You're going to roll so that your fanned out fingers are facing outwards. So that it looks like this. And what we're going to do next, you can either use glue or you can use a bit of tape to hold it in place. I'm just gonna use tape just because it's a little faster. going to tape it. Like so. And there is our flower. Now to finish this off, what you can do to make the inside of the flower, you can take two pipe cleaners, fold one over like this. This is going to be the center. Then you're going to take the other one and you're just gonna wrap it around. This is going to be the center of your flower. Once you have that done, Okay, you'll have a pipe cleaner and it will look like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that through the middle of your flower. Gives that a nice center. And you're just gonna bunch up the bottom just to bring it all together to hold the stem into place. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a little piece of tape around the bottom. And there we go, a nice little handprint flower. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in our vase. Vase is getting a little full here. Now this last one, this one's fairly simple. You can use one piece of tissue paper, you can use two. For this, I think I'm just gonna use two. Just gives it a little bit more volume. Again, you want your rectangle, you cut off any excess so that they're the same size, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now, since mine aren't very even. I must have been in a hurry when I was doing this. There we go. All right, so you have two pieces of tissue paper like this. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is we are just going to cut zigzags in the top of the tissue paper, trying to keep them together at the same time. Almost like you're cutting out a crown. So these are actually tissue paper tulips.
All right. Just gonna even these ones out a little bit. They're a little big. All right. So it looks like this. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna fold. Just gonna kind of roll it from end to end. then it kind of looks like this. And then we're just going to pull up the middle of the flower. We're gonna bunch it together at the bottom. Okay, so that it looks like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our stem. I'll use a purple stem for this one, I guess. You're going to attach your pipe cleaner at the bottom. You're just gonna twist it around the bottom of your flower to hold it in place. And voila, we have our tissue paper tulips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my vase. There we go. So there's three different ways that you can make flowers for mom this Mother's Day. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Happy Mother's Day to all those moms, aunts, grandmas out there. And happy making, guys. Let me know how it goes in the comments. And I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.